teachers, this quick video is going to walk you through how to use the Clever Portal, specifically your teacher page, and how to get started with setting things up for students. So many of the resources that you have loaded are loaded by me at the district level. However, there are many resources that you can load for students and individualize things for your different classes in Clever. So you will notice in your Clever page, you will have a um, usually a pre-created student classroom page. You'll have a page for just you and then the district page. If you need to add a new page, you can go ahead and click on the add button and select page. We're going to add a new page here. I'm just gonna call this teacher page for the moment. And then I am going to go back to Clever and I want to show you how we can take this teacher page and we can edit the settings on the teacher page. Using the teacher page we've created, you can go ahead and click on the gear icon and then you'll be able to click to edit the sharing. Here you can select for the page to be viewable to all students who teach. You can even create separate pages for each of your classes or you can make this page only visible to you. Do make sure that you have this page available visible to at least one or more classes if you want students to be using these resources. Once you're in your teacher page, you have a couple of different options for things that you can do. You can create a teacher announcement. The students will see at the top of the teacher page, you're welcome to change this announcement at any time or you can add a new one. You can also delete your announcement. In order to add custom links to your page, you would click on the Add button, and you have a couple of different options on what you can add. Categories are the headings that go above each section. I might have a category for math, and then a category for science, so that I can organize the links and apps that I load for students. If you choose to load an app for students, apps are things that Clever does all the rostering for you. So it will completely set up your class. There's a lot of great apps in here that you can use. Do keep in mind, if you choose to set up one of the apps, you need to be aware of what the app is asking for, as well as if there are any fees associated with using the app. Just because you find an app in the Clever store doesn't mean that it's going to be free for students to use. And sometimes you need to connect it with an actual subscription. Links are one of the best ways to quickly direct students to sites that you want them to visit. My suggestion for links that you put in Clever would be links that you are using all the time with students, not links just for a specific assignment. But in the end, it's up to you on how you want to manage that. In order to get the link, first, in your tabs at the top, you want to open whatever web page it is you are trying to direct students to. In this case, I'm going to add a link for Scholastic News. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Google. I'm going to search for Scholastic News. And I've clicked on Scholastic News. Now, I could direct students directly to this page, but I'm noticing that there appears to be no sign-in blank for students. So when I choose to direct students to a page, I want to have the least clicks as possible for them. So I want to make sure that I click and find the direct link that students would need to click on. You click I'm a student. Oh, and I'm noticing now that I have a unique link at the top of this page. Here's that unique link. So I'm going to take this unique link and copy this link and then go back into Clever and I'm going to paste that link here. In the link name, 
I can write the name of the program. If there's a special passcode that they type in, you may want to include the code here. If you run out of room, you could just put the code here and make sure that the picture that you upload has the name of the program. Be sure that any codes that you write here are codes that all students will use. Do not put individual passwords here. Also make sure not to put your teacher passwords here as we don't want students logging in as us into programs. So these would be passcodes or passwords that are for the entire class. In order to get a photo, you would want to head out to Google Images and I'm going to look for a Scholastic News logo. And once I find the Scholastic News logo that I like, I will go ahead and download it. Keep in mind that Clever tends to do best with logos that appear in a square shape. I happen to like this one. It's a nice square. It will be easy, or oh, this one's even better. So I'm going to file save image as. So I right clicked on it. I'm going to save that image as Scholastic News Logo. And then I'm going to head back over to my Clever page and I am going to upload that photo, making sure that I find it in whatever location on my computer that I just saved it in. Where's my Scholastic News? There it is is actually a completely different photo <laughs> that I happen to have saved and then I click add link and you'll notice now that it appears as a button with the code underneath students would know it's scholastic news because they can see that in the picture you can also write the name of the app or site in the wording that goes underneath the picture so to add another link after that, you would simply click link. If you've added a link and it's in the wrong category, you can drag that link down to the other category. So keep in mind the best way to use this page is for things that you use all the time with students. Sites that you want them to always have accessible. Doesn't mean that you can't put some of those links in Google Classroom, it's just sometimes they're a little bit easier to find in Clever because that's where all of the district curriculum and sites are as well.